Mum and I are going next door to visit Rosa. Sam says, Can I come too? Dad says, I hope she's been cooking again. Rosa always cooks more than she can eat. Cooking makes me happy, says Rosa. Even when I'm not feeling well. What's the matter? I ask her. She stirs a delicious smelling pot. Do you really want to know? She says. Sure I do, I say. I love chatting with Rosa. She takes a long, slow breath. Well, part of me is playing up. What part, I say? It's called my liver. When Rosa frowns, I think maybe I shouldn't have asked. What are you making? I say. It's my famous tomato sauce. Rosa replies. The one your dad loves so much. Do you want to help? She hands me a big sieve. We have to take the seeds out, she says. Otherwise, it will taste bitter. Rosa pours the cooked tomatoes through the sieve. The pips glisten like little red pearls. This is like one of the jobs my liver should do. When our livers are working properly, they take out the things in our blood that aren't so good. Rosa's sauce looks smooth and silky. It smells so good and I could eat it by the spoonful. She smiles when she smells it, but it's not the big, big smile she sometimes smiles. It's the other one, the one she's smiling when she's not feeling well. So your liver, not working properly. Is that why you're sick? They call it Hepatitis B, she says. Hep B for short. Your liver is next to your stomach on the right side of your body, just under your ribs. It's the biggest organ inside your body and in grown-ups it weighs one and a half kilograms. The liver can fight diseases, process and clean blood and store energy. Hep B can harm your liver and make it harder to do these things. After a bit of think, Rosa says, I'm sorry for being down in the dumps. How about we pick some fruit? We pick red apples and green apples, juicy dark skin plums, bumpy skin lemons and sprigs of mint. Back in Rosa's kitchen we cut the lemons for fresh lemonade. Mum comes in with Sam. How'd you get sick? I ask. Mum frowns. It's okay says Rosa. Hep B is carried in some people's bodies. It's in blood. If one person's blood has Hep B, they can pass on the disease even if a little bit gets into someone else's blood. That's why doctors use new needles every time they give someone an injection. How did you get it? I ask her. You sure ask a lot of questions, she says. I don't know how. There are lots of ways people catch Hep B. That's when Mum chimes in. It's not just blood in needles or from cuts and things. Infection can happen anytime blood with Hep B contacts another person's blood. Sometimes babies catch Hep B from their mums when they are born. Wow, Mum, I say. How do you know so much about Hep B? I've told you before, she says. Grown ups know everything. Well, almost everything. That looks like enough juice, says Rosa. She carefully wipes the knife we used to cut the lemons. Happy, I say. Can doctors fix it? My happy is chronic, says Rosa. That means it doesn't go away. But my doctor helps me stay healthy. I have regular checkups and tests to find out how I'm going. We test my blood and my liver. We have a plan so I don't feel sick so much. I eat good fresh food and I keep myself busy with my garden and my cooking. That's how I live with Hep B, she says. A lot of time I feel fine. But sometimes, like now, my Hep B makes me feel unwell. 
Rosa mixed the syrup into the lemon juice, but not too much. She pours out a glass for me to try. Yum! Delicious! I think you're pretty brave, I say, sprinkling mint leaves into the jug. I suppose, she says. Nowadays, doctors can stop other people getting hit. They use a vaccine to fight the virus that causes the disease. You and Sam had the vaccine when you were babies, says Mum. Four injections each. Sam suddenly goes quiet. He doesn't like needles. I wish she had them, I say to Rosa. I do too, he says with a bit of a sad face. But then she tastes her lemonade and her smile starts to grow. And this time it goes all the way to that big, big Rosa smile I love. Superheroes need lemonade too, says Sam. Rosa gives him a glass. It's been really good talking to you about Hip B. Sometimes all you need to be a hero is to listen to someone talk, says Rosa. I was feeling sorry for myself. Talking was just what I needed. You're my hero, says Rosa. Sam frowns. My little happy hero, laughs Rosa. Now it's my turn to smile. <laughs>